Hello everyone, welcome back to All Things Marine Life. Today we're taking a deep dive into one of the most bizarre yet captivating animals in our oceans, the hammerhead sharks. From their unique hammer-shaped heads to their remarkable senses, and from the smallest hammerhead to the biggest hammerhead, these sharks are truly a marvel of evolution. In this video, we'll explore all 10 hammerhead shark species, learn why evolution gave them such an outrageous head shape, and uncover how they've become some of the ocean's most agile predators. So buckle up and let's go hammer time. Let's rewind the clock about 540 million years back to the Cambrian explosion when life in the oceans began to diversify rapidly. Back then, some of the first true predators appeared and eventually fish with jaws emerged around 450 million years ago. Among them were the ancestors of modern sharks. Over millions and millions of years, sharks developed streamlined bodies, strong fins, and multiple gill slits, perfectly adapted for dominating the seas. Yet, about 20 million years ago, something unexpected happened in shark evolution. Instead of continuing down the classic shark path, nature decided to get creative, producing a shark with one of the most distinctive head shapes in the animal kingdom, the hammerhead. That enormous hammer on their heads, known scientifically as a cephalofoil, has led them to become efficient hunters with some truly remarkable abilities. All hammerhead sharks belong to the family Sphernidae. Within this family, there are 10 recognized species, each with its own unique quirk. Winghead sharks are the first one. They are an outlier in their own genus, Eusphera, with the widest hammer relative to its body size. Think of it like an airplane wing attached to its face. Scalloped hammerheads are the second, known for the scalloped notches along the front edge of its head, often seen schooling in large groups up to hundreds strong. The third one's going to be the Great Hammerhead, the largest of the hammerheads, reaching over 6 meters or up to almost 20 feet in length. Has a straight, almost T-shaped cephalofoil. The Smooth Hammerhead lacks the central indentation on its head and tends to live in temperate waters. There's the Bonnet Head, which is the smallest of the bunch with a shovel-shaped head. Studies actually show they even nibble on seagrass, making them one of the few sharks that appear to be omnivores. The small eye hammerhead is aptly named for its relatively small eyes, found mostly in the western Atlantic. There's the scoop head, a smaller hammerhead species with a curved scoop-like head. The scalloped bonnet head is a rare and lesser known species that has a shovel-like head, similar to the bonnet head but features scalloped edges. The white fin hammerhead is not as famous but it is recognized by its lighter colored fins and moderate head width. And then last but not least, there's the Carolina Hammerhead, almost identical to the scalloped hammerhead but with fewer vertebrae, recently discovered in 2013. That's right, new shark species are still being identified in our modern age. Talk about nature's gift that keeps on giving. These 10 species each play critical roles in their respective marine ecosystems, whether they're cruising along coastlines or patrolling deeper waters. The hallmark of a hammerhead is the flattened, more elongated head. At first glance, it may look like a design flaw. Doesn't that create more drag? But in many ways, it's actually a stroke of evolutionary genius. Better vision. Hammerheads have eyes on either side of that wide cephalofoil head, which grants them exceptional peripheral vision, covering almost 360 degrees vertically and surprisingly robust binocular overlap horizontally. This means they get fantastic depth perception, crucial for a predator that needs to be precise to capture prey. Maneuverability. Early theories suggest that the hammer might produce lift like an airplane's wings, but current research indicates that the cephalofoil is all about rapid maneuvering. When a hammerhead tilts its head up or down, it can change depths and pivot more quickly than most sharks. Picture a fighter jet pulling quick stunts to keep up with its target, and you're getting close to how a hammerhead hunts stingrays, squid, and fast-moving fish. One of the coolest things about sharks and rays is their sixth sense, electroreception. Tiny pores called ampullae of Lorenzini dot the underside of a hammerhead's head. These pores are filled with a conductive jelly that can detect incredibly faint electrical signals given off by the muscle movement and heartbeat of prey. Because a hammerhead's head is so wide, it can host more of these electroreceptors, spreading them out across a greater surface area. Imagine it waving like a giant metal detector across the ocean floor. Except their metal is dinner. 
hidden under the sand. And yes, it's so sensitive that in controlled lab tests, juvenile hammerheads have detected electrical fields at levels as low as one nanovolt per square centimeter. That's one 1.5 volt battery connected from one coastline to the other, and they can still sense the difference. Now that's a party trick that'll knock the socks off your next dinner combo. Let's sprinkle in some fun anecdotes and some lesser known facts about these fascinating sharks. Bonnet heads and salads. As I mentioned earlier, bonnet heads have been observed consuming seagrass in addition to crustaceans and fish. Some scientists now consider them potentially omnivorous. Who said that sharks don't appreciate a side salad? Massive migrations. Some scalloped hammerheads gather in huge schools, numbering in the hundreds, especially around seamounts or islands like the Galapagos or Cocos Island. Imagine looking up and seeing a wall of hammerheads overhead. It's surreal, if not a bit intimidating. Headhunting stingrays. Great hammerheads are known to pin stingrays down with their heads like a spatula pressing a pancake down before chowing down on it. Rays rarely see it coming. The Carolina Hammerhead Mystery Discovered only in 2013, the Carolina Hammerhead looks nearly identical to the scalloped hammerhead. Until then, we assumed they were the same species, but advanced genetics and vertebrae counts proved us wrong. So keep your eyes peeled for new species, the ocean tends to hide them very well. Sadly, as remarkable as hammerhead sharks are, several species are in trouble. Many hammerheads are classified as endangered or vulnerable due to overfishing. Their fins are highly prized in certain markets, which leads to unsustainable and often cruel fishing practices. Some studies in the Pacific and Atlantic suggest that hammerhead populations, particularly scalloped hammerheads, have crashed by as much as 80%. Remember that their role as an apex and meso predator helps keep marine ecosystems in balance. Losing them could have ripple effects throughout the food web. But there is hope. Conservation programs worldwide aim to protect them from creating marine reserves to tightening fishing regulations. By supporting organizations that fight for shark conservation, or simply by spreading the word, you're helping these mesmerizing creatures have a fighting chance. Share this video with a friend or family member to let them know how important that the hammerhead shark is. Evolution never stops though. We've already seen some sharks like hammerheads adopt radical head shapes, some shark species walk on reefs at low tide, and other sharks glow in the dark. Who knows what new abilities sharks might develop in the next few million years, provided we give them the time and space to do so. Hammerheads, as the new kids on the shark block, haven't yet faced a global mass extinction like some older lineages did in the past. Will they survive the human-driven changes happening today? That's up to us. If you want your grandchildren or your children to marvel at hammerheads in the wild, we all need to play a part. Supporting sustainable fisheries, reducing plastic pollution, and advocating for marine protected areas. After all, these bizarre big-headed sharks deserve to keep on swimming, evolving, and occasionally making us scratch our heads in wonder. Thank you all for joining me on this journey into the weird and wonderful world of hammerhead sharks. We covered their evolution, their unique hammer-shaped skull, their astounding sixth sense, and even how some of them enjoy a little seagrass on the side. If you learned something new or just love hammerhead sharks as much as I do, be sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into all things marine life. Let's keep spreading awareness about our ocean's most extraordinary creatures. Until next time, I'm Caleb, reminding you that the ocean is full of surprises, so stay exploring, stay curious, and take care of our blue planet. See you in the next thing on All Things Marine Life.